All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Local Network. And today I want to talk about, oh, dropping, maintaining genetic diversity through seed saving. This is one of the most important parts of, of actual gardening or just sustainability. One thing you'll notice is I used to say, keep the bigger ones. I always used to say that whatever you're growing, always keep the bigger ones. But as I was today peeling these saving seeds, I was noticing you can see how, how these beans were, were a bigger size bean. Look how long this one is. So in saving seed, you may say, look at this one. It's a little small. You may say, throw this one away. Right? Throw the smaller one, skinny one away. Keep the fatter ones. But what I was thinking today was sometimes these bigger seeds may not have the pest fighting power or the disease resistance of the smaller ones. By, by keeping multiple types of seeds, not just the, the best looking plant, not just the best ones. You can see I'll open this up. And I'll show you, even the, even the seeds are a bigger type of seed. Those gonna need to dry out just a little bit more for my taste. But you can see that those seeds are, are a bigger type of seed. If you look at it, right there, right? And then this one, the little skinnier one, the seed may not be as big. You can see that these seeds, I'm gonna put them next to each other. These are the bigger ones. Now this is the same variety of plant. These are the, the asparagus beans, but these are the white long, or the long king. But you can see how big these are compared to those. You would say, why don't you just keep the best looking seeds, keep the bigger ones. But what if, the disease resistance in these seeds are not as good as the disease resistance in these. And if you only keep the bigger ones, well, over time, your crop can be decimated by a certain disease. But if you diversify your seed saving, now you're talking about a more well-rounded garden, a more well-rounded, um, as far as pest protection, as far as disease resistance. That way, if something happens and a disease comes and takes out a couple of these, if they're kind of intertwined, the disease may not be able to pass over one plant to the next because you got a good diversity of, of seeds. So that's what we're doing today. I wanted to stop real quick. I'm dropping now. I wanted to stop real quick to offer that tidbit of advice. How do you maintain your diversity in your garden? A lot of times we have diseases and we get these diseases because when we're saving seeds, sometimes maybe we're, we're keeping the best looking seed or the best looking vegetable or the best looking plant. But what we don't see is what's inside that seed. We don't see that disease resistance. And that's not, uh, it's not visible until we start growing that plant and then we're seeing our plants get affected and black spot and all kind of things so i wanted to get in and give y'all that little tidbit of advice maintain your diversity and your seed safe thank y'all for watching and as always grow 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 peace